Public service is a calling. It takes time, energy, and commitment. But to have an impact, you need leadership skills, an understanding of the issues, access to evidence-based information, and a network of colleagues you can learn from. That's why the Millbank Memorial Fund, which is dedicated to improving population health and equity, offers two leadership development programs, one for experienced legislators and senior executives, and another for emerging leaders in state government. The states are really where health policy action is. There are 50 state labs, if you will, plus DC, plus the territories, and they're innovating in a thousand different ways. And so to be able to bring them together um, to enhance their leadership potential really is where we feel like the greatest difference can be made in population health and health equity. Millbank covers the costs of these two programs, each offering three meetings in cities around the nation and a series of monthly online sessions over the course of about a year. Participants gain new insights and skills to advance their goals and careers. There's always additional information to learn and this group is using evidence-based practices, research and literature reviews from organizations that have put the effort into really understanding issues. For me, the community that this fellowship represents has been a total game changer. You know, I try to apply and try to put in, and put myself into things that will advance me, that will benefit me, but more important, will benefit the work that I'm doing. This has just really opened up um, my world to truly understanding what health, health equity means. I've been a healthcare executive for 40 years and I have to say I'm amazed at how much I'm learning from the younger people in the program, particularly as it applies to health policy. Since being in this program and having some of those uh, uh, alumni come back and talk to us and introduce us to how you talk to you know, Republicans, how you talk to Democrats, how you can bring them at the table, it has just proven very invaluable for my position in my career. Millbank chooses applicants with a range of political perspectives and a balance of legislative and executive roles from different parts of the country. We're looking for people who are dedicated to population health. We're looking for dedicated, driven, curious people um, who can approach conversations with humility and with an expectation of each other, um, of really pushing each other to the next level. We make a point of picking people with varied views and lived experience. It's really intentional uh, to bring people of all backgrounds together, understand, uh, learn, um, and foster some kind of collaboration of understanding on how we can change the healthcare environment. Fellows and emerging leaders build a network of peers in the program, experts and alumni who are part of the larger Millbank Leadership Network. By far, the people that have gotten to me through this is the most valuable thing, and I, those are relationships that I want to cherish for, for hopefully the rest of my career. For me, the chance to learn from what states across the country are doing and the approaches, the strategies, the ways of engaging stakeholders that have been part of that effort has really infused me with a level of creativity and new ways of approaching um, complex problems. And I think that I'm able to bring back ideas or approaches that had never occurred to me previously. The Millbank programs help state legislators and policymakers to develop practical leadership skills, confidence, the ability to negotiate and collaborate. We truly do take a nonpartisan approach. Um, we know that people come from many different backgrounds and we know that really the thing that is beautiful about our democracy is an ability to be able to respectfully exchange ideas. Um, and so those ideas, evidence base, and facilitating that dialogue is something that Millbank excels at. And at the same time, we also have trusted relationships in both the state executive branches as well as in legislative branches. And it is very rare for state executives and legislators to be able to come together at the same table and discuss health policy. The ultimate goal is improved population health and the closure of long-standing gaps in health outcomes. When I go about my legislation, be it with health equity or whatever health-related issue, I kind of lean back on this group as a, as a source of support. They're my cheerleaders, if you will. Um, and, and I feel like when I do something good, it's partially because of this group. I really think it's going to help me prepare for our next legislative session and the work that can be done and just taking a different perspective of, of population health and 
um, the stories that can be shared. It's not just about data, it's about storytelling as well. So I got my master's at the University of Wisconsin from the physician epidemiologist who first coined the term population health back in 1988, uh, 90. But I have to tell you, I've got to credit this program in its focus on equity and population health in driving me again to some new legislation for New Mexico. The work we do can be exhausting. It can be sometimes stressful. We're really thinking about the like really, really fundamental issues that don't have easy solutions. So having something like Millibank that can give you time to really think about it in creative and thoughtful and very, very structured ways. I couldn't think of a reason why folks would want to join if you are interested in advancing your career and health equity and health policy, this to me seems the program that's gonna really prime you to be able to do that. So review our brochure and apply online. We look forward to meeting you.